Hello everyone, Willowheart here. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'll be discussing some important and exciting updates coming to the channel for the end of summer and the rest of 2024. We'll cover future games to play, social media plans, an exciting new project, and updates about the Wings of Fire graphic novel Double 5 and Convexity Studio that will be taking over Arc 2. Now, without further delay, let's dive into the video. First, let's talk about my goals for the rest of 2024 and beyond. As many of you know, after the Wings of Fire graphic novel Double Book 5, I'll be concluding the series. I have a separate video explaining my reasons. You can find that link in the description of this video. But ultimately, it is for my happiness and mental well-being. I know many of you guys will be disappointed, but I believe it is for the best. My main goal for this channel going on forward after the graphic novel does release is to become more of a gaming channel. Currently, we are focusing more on gamings, but this will be official thing once we get the graphic novel dub out. Where I will primarily play Roblox games and other titles like Wings of Dawn and Path of Titans, as I'm an official content creator for both. I love playing games, especially streaming with friends and interacting with the community. I've always dreamed of becoming a full-time YouTuber and streamer, and to help achieve this dream, I've hired an amazing editor and SEO specialist. Their work has been fantastic, and you can truly see the results of our recent videos. Keep up the awesome work, man. Proud and so happy to have you in the team with us. I play popular games that you, the fans, enjoy, and will be conducting polls for other Roblox games. Currently, the popular games on the channel are Wings of Fire related, but I am so excited to explore other areas, like Path of Titans, Supervive, Wings of Dawn, Warrior Cats Lake Territory Reborn, and Creatures of Scenaria. Other games I love to test out include Harp Isles, when released, Wings of Fire The Journey, when released, Feather Friends, Obi Games, Doors, Super Skyward Tower, and many more. The reason I also listed these many games is I'm going to be starting a big project that I think that many are going to love. I am thrilled to reveal the name, Willow Heart's Legendary Adventure. The first episode is already done, and my editor is working on it. In this series, I'll explore various of Roblox games and others I'm an official content creator for, sometimes solo, with friends, or with special guests. We'll go on adventures, survive, and explore these incredible virtual worlds together. I'll be conducting polls to see which games you prefer me to play the most, and which ones I should try out. I'm excited to reveal um, this upcoming new TikTok account that will be for the Willow Hearts Adventure Series to welcome new family members and for those who want to check out that prefer on TikTok more on YouTube. I'll be sharing more info on that soon. As for streams, I typically stream on weekends, depending on my workload. I keep everyone updated on my community tab about upcoming streams. My ultimate goal is to become a full-time YouTuber and streamer, which means more frequent streams. I'm also exploring multi-streaming on platforms like TikTok and Twitch. I know the YouTube membership updates have been lagging, and I apologize for that. Real life and, of course, the Wings of Fire project has kept me busy. For now, I will simplify it to a one tier that is $5 a month, which will include shoutouts in every video and occasionally during streams. I'll have a video announcing these official changes very soon. And now, the moment many of you have been waiting for. The updates of the Wings of Fire graphic novel dub book 5 is officially here. You can you can stop going in the comments now and typing in when is it coming out because it, I will tell you all tentative date. I'm just going to say that. I need to clarify some things of the reasons why there's been so much delay in this. Why there hasn't been really much updates, etc, etc, etc. So stay tuned, strap in, and let's begin. Number 1. Voice actors dropping out. We had several voice actors that have been dropping out of the blue with us trying to respond to them and of course there has been no word. And let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, I am not interested in going through the whole process of the Cast and Call Club thing, listening to potential five, over 500 plus auditions and probably another month of just reviewing over them with friends. 
and picking out the people. That is just too long, that's a too long of a process, and honestly, I just don't have the mental energy and will for it, and neither does the team. We just want to get this graphic novel dub out to the public as soon as we can, but at the same time, we do want to keep it a masterpiece. Number 2. Convexity Studios Collaborations So let me explain about this. As I explained, we had many voice actors that dropped out, and we just did not want to go through the ordeal of pretty much doing the whole audition thing again. So, Convexity Studio, two of its members, the leads of them, actually joined in on us, and they helped us out with getting the voice actors that we are missing. So we appreciate very much of the collaboration of um, Convexity Studios that are helping us out with these voice actors and, of course, some editors that have dropped out as well. I've gotten to know the leaders, and I can sense and feel the passion and dedication they have for ARC 2, especially from Teak, who is going to be working with them for ARC 2. And honestly, I, I will say this, I have no doubts that they will continue on our legacy and will make ARC 2 as amazing as ARC 1, if not even better. So. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate this help very much. Lack of motivation. I'm gonna admit this. I lack the motivation to continue on with these graphic novel dubs. Again, I have a video explaining in great details of my reasonings on these. I'm not gonna repeat them again in this video. It will just take too long. So again, please check that out um, if you want to know the full answers. But if you do know and respect my decision and continue to support me, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You are true fans, two true fans, true friends, and I really do very much appreciate it. And I seriously hope you enjoy the future contents that I'm going to be bringing here on the channel and to have an even greater opportunity to interact with me, get to know me, and get to see my shenanigans with me and my friends of the Royal Dynasty in game. That's what we want to do. I want to do especially. I just want to have fun. And I am definitely want to enjoy doing this. And so... Again, I hope you understand my decisions with this, and I do appreciate the support, the gratitude, and the joy and supporting me through all of ARC 1. And again, I am truly blessed. Thank you guys very much. So back to Convexity Studio. So Convexity Studio, one of its lead members, Sunny, has something big to announce to the fans to let them know, especially about ARC 2. Let me read it for you from the quote of Sunny herself. An update to ARC 2. Teak has joined Convexity Studios' team and together are working smoothly on ARC 2. Moonrising has already picked up their cast members. We are bringing the previous VAs from ARC 1 into ARC 2. A few chose not to return as they wished to let new VAs have a chance at voice acting in bigger projects. The music teams are working away on the Prophecy Song and writer teams are working hard on Winter Script. We won't be doing a winter casting call until Moon's graphic novel dub is finished. The novel will be broken into three parts, much later we will combine together as one big movie. You can watch it on Quebec City Studios' channel. If you're interested in voice acting minor roles, wanting to keep up on dates on any news on Wings of Fire or Spyro related content, leave a comment on the channel and we will do our best we can to respond to you. Thank you, Sunny. So, when will Wings of Fire graphic novel dub book 5 be out? I'm gonna be brutally honest, people. We do not have an official date. This is a tentative date, so I just want y'all to understand this. We are aiming for this to be a potentially a late fall to early winter kind of release. Meaning this could be potentially a Christmas special, a before or after. It greatly depends. It could be as late as early, early 2025. We don't really know. A lot has happened, and we are trying our best to make this a masterpiece. We do want to make this a masterpiece, especially that this is going to be the final book for ARC 1, and for the final on my channel itself. So we want this to make this a masterpiece. We want for you guys to enjoy this, and to make it a very memorable moment. And so, again, we do want to make this great. And so I hope you understand, and please have patience, please have patience with the voice actors. Please have patience for our team, our editors, and especially for Convexity Studio as well, because they are going to be taking the reins, and I don't want them to experience the harassment that I've been dealing with here on the channel. They deserve respect and gratitude for pretty much taking up this huge, awesome load onto their shoulders. And again, I'm excited to see what you are going to show for us, for us, Convexity Studios. And I do plan to make reaction videos based on them. But anyway, that's all for now. That's all for this video specifically. 
And I do appreciate you guys for supporting, continuing to supporting the channel, and for enjoying our content. If you'd like to see more of our amazing works and our amazing gameplays and stuff, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So that way you could be notified of all of our updates and our amazing stuff we do here on the channel. Thank you again, and y'all have a wonderful day. Until next time, my dears, goodbye!